During the first wave of COVID, uh, I was working on ITU in airborne PPE. I know from the short period of time that I spent down there, that when I would come back up and sit in the break room, I felt an absolute hot mess. We were dehydrated, hot, sweaty, gulping down liters of fluid. And we were only there for two hours at a time. I couldn't imagine what it was like for an ITU nurse who could be expected to spend up to six hours without a break in the same conditions. We know from previous work that high body temperatures are bad for humans and um, they can lead to a condition called heat injury. What we don't know is how airborne PPE affects body temperature. In the laboratory, we conducted a pilot study which showed, in principle, that it does cause a rise in body temperature and this does have an impact on both well-being and performance. I've been a qualified nurse for about 30 years. I've spent most of my career working in clinical research. We've definitely seen um, an exit of many staff who were working you know, with COVID patients in, in PPE in the peak of the pandemic. It really has taken a strain on both the nursing workforce and the general healthcare workforce. And as a manager, I've seen staff leave and who've cited that as their reason of wearing uh, PPE for long periods of time and actually the real physical impact of, of wearing that. In this study, we will, we will quantify for the first time the change in body temperature associated with wearing airborne PPE on an ITU nursing shift. We'll measure temperature by using a pill which the nurse will swallow, and then that will measure their body temperature throughout their shift. We will then measure the impact of that body temperature using biomarkers that measure injury to both the brain and the kidney. We'll then look at the impact in real terms of the heat stress by looking at the nurse's cognitive function and their ability to do tasks before and after the shift. I'll be focusing on the qualitative, so really finding out about their experience and the impact on their well-being. So we're planning with each participant to carry out a semi-structured interview to really sort of pull out how they felt when they were wearing PPE and what they feel was the impact on their well-being and how they experienced the, the PPE as they went through the shift. We hope that by identifying this issue and quantifying it for the first time, that we'll be able to shed a spotlight on the problem. The solutions to this problem are already clear, but they require investment. Without quantifying what the problem is to start off with, it is unlikely that either healthcare institutions or industry will put the investment into uh, developing these solutions. This research is almost giving our staff a voice to really be able to say that actually this is something that we need to look into and the results of this will hopefully help shape how we manage long shifts in ITU in the future should another pandemic such as COVID-19 um, become, um, become apparent.